watching Forerunners. I'm here to give you a quick introduction to the role of probability concepts in machine learning. Scratching your heads, huh? Most of us here are computer science graduates, and you're mostly wondering what could I possibly have to do with probability? Well, you are right in the way. In today's era of information, almost anyone can give a data set to a learning algorithm, get the outputs, and be like, yay, I did ML. This is possible because there are a number of tools available in the market that automate our tasks. This is what we term as the applied machine learning. Applied machine learning is the development of a learning system to address a specific learning problem. In order to follow this process, one only requires knowledge about the concerned machine learning tool. But the question here is, does it make you a domain expert? Certainly not. Let us take a quick look at the concept of probability. Probability is the mathematical process of handling uncertainty. Then, we quantify the likelihood of things or values or the outcomes that we care about. Isn't this how our real life works? Now let us get into the basic concepts of machine learning. A learning problem consists of some input data, output data and some unknown but coherent relationship between the two. Every algorithm generally develop a predictive model wherein the prediction is a data instance belonging to a class or a cluster. But machine learning algorithms often face with the issues of noisy data, imperfect models and whatnot. The model also needs to be trained or it needs to undergo proper parameter tuning methods in order to fit the data perfectly. Let us now see how probability plays a role in machine learning. The foremost aim of machine learning is to develop classification models. These models predict the label for a data instance based on the value of each feature. For this purpose, it makes use of the classical concepts of conditional probability. An example of the machine learning classification algorithm is the Navier's algorithm that all of us are familiar with. The Navier's algorithm predicts the posterior probability of a feature belonging to a class given its likelihood value. In the end, the final label is calculated based on the product of the individual conditional probabilities. The next task in machine learning is that of designing. Even the models are designed over probability. How come? You know about regression models, right? Regression models minimize the mean squared error of prediction. Linear regression tries to design the regression line that best fits the data. Other examples also include the graphical models, probability graphical models, Bayesian belief networks and so on. As you can see, the model here tries to adjust the regression line in order to properly separate the instances of class 0 and class 1. The next method in machine learning is the training. Even the training is done with the probabilistic frameworks. Parameter tuning when selecting the correct hyperparameter values. Maximum likelihood estimation is a method that adjusts the model parameters to efficiently train our machine learning model. As you can see, there are various curves with different values for mean and sigma. The value of mean 30.1 and sigma 3.8 gives us the curve that best fits our parameter values and the data values. Even the models are evaluated with the probabilistic measures. The selection of the best model is done by measuring the differences in probability distributions. The log loss and the ROC curve are the examples. As you can see, the predicted probability for class 1 reaches 1. The log loss value also approaches 0. ROC curve is known as the receiver operating curve. It is a probabilistic curve which measures the ratio of true positive upon false positive. Now that you know, what are you waiting for? We have seen the importance of probability in machine learning. 
gear up and get started with learning the concepts of probability like conditional probability, joint probability, entropy, base rule, the distributions, MLE, log blocks, ROC and so on. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for runners.